what is it that distinguishes somebody that goes on to become an entrepreneur or a successful entrepreneur uh, and someone who doesn't or, mm -hmm. or never really takes that, uh, that adventure of you know, going off on their own? Is there something in you that goes back to childhood? Is it, you know, your parents? Is it, mm. in psychology, right, it's that nature versus nurture mm. dilemma. Uh, was it something that you, you were taught or is it just genetics and predisposition? Well, if I think about it, I've always been a nonconformist. I've always been wanting something, like everyone picked, when even favorite colors, Everyone would pick blue and pink. You know, my sisters and brothers had blue and pink as their favorite colors. Mine was purple. I was always a little different. I was always very creative. Even as a young girl, I wrote stories. And I just felt like, um, you know, just I remember uh, one day I was in church with my family. We were Catholic. And I looked at my mom, and she was so happy. You know, she's a mom. And I was like, God, I wonder if she's bored with her life. Like, I'm going to be like... I'm going to do something big with my life. Like, so I felt it inside. I think uh, some of us that are entrepreneurs or, or wanting to be entrepreneurs but scared, the people that are unsettled in that corporate life, it's almost like you're born with this kind of unsettled, uh, per, like, a, like a hero in you, you mm. know, that kind of um, uh, adventurous part of you that says, you know, I just don't want to be like everyone else. I just don't want to be a cog in the wheel. I want to create something. So I think it's more creative people are really good as entrepreneurs, and I feel like that was kind of me. And so I think that's also true why I kept getting laid off, because when I moved to Colorado, I said, I'm going to start my own, I want to do something different. And I kept going back to getting another job. And it was just the, the job to me was the safety security default, and not the, you know, and I had this dream of like, maybe being a therapist or doing uh, coaching or something. Uh, I actually went to massage school. Uh, and every time I would get a corporate job, they promised me a lot of money. Mm. And then I was like, eh, well, maybe I'll, I'll do that. I kept pulling myself back. So it was a battle inside of me. And, and a lot of entrepreneurs I speak with, <clears throat> they kind of know they have the passion for something. They either don't know what they want to do or they don't think they can do it. And so they end up just defaulting. But that is actually worse because now you're you're defaulting and you're unhappy with the default. 